Getting free items online is so much fun, isn't it? There has to be someone out there that enjoys receiving free things. And thanks to the internet, it's quite simple to do so with only a few clicks. The trick is wading through all of the different websites out there that promise free stuff and there are a ton of completely legal methods to receive free items online, like free ebooks, gift cards, and samples of food and beauty products. For we know, companies want you to try out their products, so they're willing to send you products for free that you might decide to spend your own money on later. Welcome to Money Talk, where we discuss everything related to money. And for this video, we are going to talk about how to get free stuff online and in person. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button and be the first to check out our latest videos. So the first thing to do is to check online community marketplaces. So free items and services can often be found through Facebook groups, Nextdoor, and Craigslist. You can actually see ads for a wide range of items people wish to give away, including plants, furniture, appliances, and moving boxes. The next is to sample products. To do this, you have to look for free samples at stores, at Costco, and other wholesale clubs. You can munch on food and at department stores like Nordstrom and Macy's. You can request fragrances and beauty samples. But what if you can't find samples in person? Well, don't worry, you actually can request them online. Manufacturers like Kraft Heinz and Unilever offer samples via mail in exchange for product testing or reviews. So the third way is to enroll in loyalty programs. Sign up for rewards programs at your favorite businesses. Many restaurants and stores provide members additional bonuses for their birthdays or depending on how much they spend. You could earn free food delivery, gift cards, products, movie tickets, and other goodies. Now, the fourth way is to use your library card. Aside from books, libraries offer a wealth of free educational and recreational opportunities. You might gain access to movies, music, games, audiobooks, classes, museums, and more with a current library card. Consult your library for more information about that. Next is the fifth way. So the fifth way is to take online surveys. By responding to questions on websites like Swagbox and MyPoints, you may win prizes like gift cards, cash, and entries into sweepstakes. The majority of the time, taking surveys is simple but time-consuming, and the payoff can be meager. Now I know the topic gets more and more interesting from here, but I actually posted a video about where you can take online service to earn money or score some stuff, and it's posted on my channel. But have you taken online service before? Let me know in the comment section below so that we can talk about it. So now, the sixth way is to cash in on credit card rewards. Have a credit card with rewards? Hotels, flights, and gift cards can all be purchased with points, miles, or cash back. Some credit cards also offer extra benefits like free checked bags, trip insurance, and access to airport lounges. So you have to look into the incentives your card qualifies for. Next is the seventh way. So the seventh way is to download an app for freebies. So apps that provide cash back and rewards can get you free goods by visiting specific locations, scanning product barcodes, or making purchases. You can accrue points with Shopkick. Gift cards like retailers like Target and Starbucks are redeemed for points. Another option to receive benefits on an essential purchase is using a gas app like GetUpside. Next is the eighth way. So the eighth way is to use coupons. Yep, coupons might help you score freebies in addition to discounts. Numerous retailers and companies provide free merchandise, buy one get one free, or free gift purchase with promotions. The Sunday newspaper and online databases are two places where you can find coupons. Make careful to read their terms and conditions and store rules. 
So the ninth way is to indulge in national food holidays. If you use social media, you've probably noticed that practically every food item has its own holiday. Find participating local eateries or national chains to see if you can score some free grub. For instance, on National Donut Day in June, Krispy Kreme give away free donuts to customers. Isn't that awesome? So the 10th way is to sign up for a free trial. Although they are extremely popular, subscription boxes and services can be quite pricey. However, by signing up for trial periods, you can enjoy free TV, music streaming, audiobooks, snacks, dinners, coffee, and more. So, for instance, Hulu is free for a month actually, and Crunch Fitness provides a free one-day gym pass. Make a note of the dates that free trial ends on your calendar so you can cancel and prevent unexpected fees. You don't want any bills, don't you? So last and the 11th way is to enter sweepstakes. You may win all kinds of awesome things by participating in contests like lucky callers to radio stations receive concert tickets, a dream home giveaway is held by HGTV. There could also be prizes like merchandise, gift cards, and vacations, even though the chances of winning are slim. Entering is typically simple. On occasion, you can earn entries by writing a product review online or mentioning a company in an Instagram post. Watch out for giveaways from your favorite businesses, but take note to never participate in sketchy contests such as those that request personal data such as your credit card or social security number without thoroughly reading the rules, all right? So that's it. And now that you know what they are, are you ready to score some free stuff? Comment down below so we can get the conversation going. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, click subscribe, and hit that notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. If you want to watch more videos, head on over to our channel to see more. See you!